Counselor Being from a Place of Wholeness with Melissa J and Amy Rubin. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa J. I use she, her pronouns. Hi, I'm Amy Rubin and I use she, them pronouns. We're so happy to be here with you. Amy and I know each other through the Canadian Counseling and Psychotherapy Association. We're co-chairs for the Counselors for Social Justice chapter. Yeah, and we met at the very beginning of the, the conference last year, and we, we met in the context of um, presentations about psychology and yoga. So we're here to talk about wholeness and how that comes into, um, into counseling and into sessions with, with, our, with our participants, both as how it relates to them, how it relates to us as counselors and, and all the different things that are happening in the room and in between sessions. And bringing our full selves, mind, body, spirit, heart into session, and then also see our clients more holistically. Mm -hmm. When I catch myself, it's like a feeling I get that's sort of like a tightness. Mm -hmm. And I love conversations and I love words and I love thinking about things. And I have to really watch it because if I'm working with someone who also feels that way, we can really kind of go there. And it has to be for me in those situations, a conscious reminder of, okay, hold on, wait a minute. This is, this is an important piece, but it's not the whole picture. Mm -hmm. And um, I kind of tell myself, zoom out, just zoom out. And that, and that seems to help just to remember um, anytime I can remember that we're just, you know, two animals sitting together, it, it, it helps me shift. I, I noticed that it's really about getting out of the way. Mm. So when I can, yeah, trust that I know the theories and concepts are there and they'll probably arise when they're meant to, I don't have to search for them or plan for them. Instead, I can be fully present with the person that I'm sitting with. And, and that, I think, allows a deeper conversation to happen, a deeper embodiment of what we're talking about. Just to leave that room for, to leave space. So many things that we do to stay healthy and whole, whether it's digesting a meal or um, if we have a cut and it needs to, to close up again, we don't need to know how to do that. We just have to kind of create the space to let it happen and sessions that have been really exciting and, and felt profound to the person in the session it, it's often that that's part of what's happening is just leaving room for it mm -hmm. and that sometimes when I'm not leaving room in a session and there's lots of back and forth and in the moment it can feel like something's happening but those are the sessions that don't seem to stick as much and yeah what a what a gift that can be to be sitting with people when they're willing to be courageous or vulnerable to dip underneath the surface to look at those pieces that can be quite tender or difficult to to look at and i think that really what what i'm reminded of as we're talking is the importance of the relationship like when we're sitting two people talking what a gift that is, what a privilege. And, you know, rather than that top-down approach of like, okay, I'm the counselor, I need to know what to do or how to fix something. It's really that we have the gift or the privilege to walk alongside them in their journey and empower them to figure out what's best 